Tragedy in Texas. More than two dozen churchgoers were killed after a shooter opened fire inside a Baptist church. The youngest victim, just five years old. Mm -hmm. CBS 2's Cara mm -hmm. Finstrom is here with more. Cara? Yeah, and one of the children that was killed is the pastor's daughter, a 14 year old. Just heartbreaking as we get more and more information about this this morning. So much loss for a very small town. As we mentioned, the youngest victim was only five years old. Sutherland Springs is a small town of just about 400 people where almost everybody knows each other. We've got some video here that we want to show you. It was taken earlier this morning of the church. It's now sealed off, it's being guarded by police as this investigation continues. Overnight, neighbors came together. They held a vigil for those who lost their lives. Today, we've we've lost some great friends today, um, and we had some really great friends injured. Um, the people who ran did Sunday schools. The people who did the Thursday night meals. The people who played the music. Yesterday morning, police say the shooter dressed in black tactical gear with a ballistic vest and carrying an assault type rifle walked up to that church. Witnesses say he started shooting before he got inside. Within minutes, many churchgoers were dead or wounded. Sheriff detectives now say as the gunman then tried to get away, a witness across the street grabbed his own rifle and shot that gunman. The shooter was able to get into his car and drive off, but police later found him dead on the side of the road. He had numerous weapons with him. It is unclear whether he died from that earlier gunshot or if he shot himself. One neighbor believes he saw the shooter walking up to the church. Walking like a normal person is walking out. You know, he had his, his head down like that, but that's about it, you know. And I just thought I figured it was just one of the kids going across. So we have kids all over the place, and I didn't think nothing about it. The gunman has been identified as Devin Kelly, a 26 year old Air Force veteran who was discharged for bad conduct three years ago. He was court martialed for assaulting his wife and their child. Officials say he lived in a San Antonio suburb and does not appear to have any links to any organized terror groups. Uh, we can tell you as well that because this is such a small community, there's no schools actually in that town. Wow. All the children go to neighboring districts and they all will have counselors on hand today trying to help oh the staff there, uh, the students, other students who knew these children who, who, who were killed uh, cope with this today.